Welcome to this Photoshop Creative video tutorial where we're going to look at how to set up oils brushes. I just want to talk for a little while here about um, some of the really important brush settings we need to use for the oils project this month. Um, to create the effect we're after here it's very important that you use the right brushes and it's also very important that you, you set them up in the correct way. So we'll start simply by choosing the brush tool itself. Click in the brush picker. We're using a very particular set of brushes or we, at least we're using a couple of brushes from a very particular set in Photoshop so we need to load that specific set simply click on the small right pointing arrow in the uh, in the brush picker and we'll choose thick heavy brushes from the list there we want to choose OK to replace the current brushes rather than append them just so we've got these uh, these particular brushes visible in the brush picker. Um, in the main we want to use the rough flat bristle brush here. Now I do um, encourage you to experiment with a few of the others. Um, I would stick to the rough brushes so you know in different parts of the painting do feel free to experiment with the rough round bristle brush but uh, as I said we'll start with the rough flat and we'll choose that simply by double clicking on it in the brush picker. Okay so first we want to actually set the brush up um, with some nice texture and we'll do that via the brushes palette. Now you can either click on that in the in the little um, icon there or we can access it via the windows palette window and uh, brushes. Okay, so with the brushes palette displayed we want to click on the texture category which will automatically put a check mark in that box. Do however make sure that you've got a check mark there, if not click directly in the in the little box to uh, to actually insert the check mark so this particular category is active. Textures, once again, I'd like you to experiment with these, although we're, we're going to mainly use the canvas texture for this demonstration. Click directly in the, uh, in the texture swatch. Now, by default, um, you will have a completely different set of textures or patterns showing, more than likely these two. If that's the case, once again, in the texture picker simply click the small right pointing arrow and we want to choose artist surfaces once again click OK to replace the current textures. If we go through these the selection of these um, little texture thumbnails we'll see one called canvas there. Want to increase the scale quite a bit keep your eye on this on this little preview pane down in the bottom here and one of the most important settings here is that we choose color burn for the uh, for the texture mode now i want to draw your attention to this depth slider um, by default it will be set somewhere around the the bottom end here but if you actually keep an eye on the um, on the stroke thumbnail down in the bottom there you'll see as I increase the depth setting we get more and more of this really nice texture showing so best way to do this is is really by trial and error um, obviously at higher settings we get this nice kind of scratchy texture and we can also experiment with the scale slider for the, the texture itself um, as I said, you know, experiment with this a little and you'll soon see that we can get some really nice kind of effective brush strokes here with lots of texture in them. Let me just choose a colour from the painting itself and I can simply begin to paint and you'll see lots of nice textures showing up here. You'll also see from the tutorial that we're using a, uh, a number of different blending modes. So if I change this to color burn you'll see that that texture is even more evident. And You'll see if I do a nice big panel here we've got this really nice kind of scratchy smudgy 
brush so um, it, it's it's really worth um, making sure that your texture settings are set exactly as you want them for this project as detailed in the tutorial as I've said do also take note of the uh, the blending modes I'm using for the actual brush remember this is blending modes for the brush not the layer um, one of the ones we use a, a lot here is hard light and you can simply choose that from this mode box up in the uh, up in the options bar so once again we get the paint brushes really nicely interacting with each other so the uh, the marks we make blend together nicely and give us this real kind of effective oils feel one of the other things we can do um, because we're actually using a, a flat brush for most of this gives us this kind of calligraphic stroke so if we kind of stroke horizontally we've got a nice thick stroke and if we vote stroke vertically we've got these nice sort of fine lines now do remember that we can actually rotate the brush um, once again to the brushes palette window and brushes let's just click on the brush tip shape category and you'll see this little kind of compass icon in the bottom here and with this you can actually rotate the brush so you know you can decide in which direction you get this nice thick stroke simply by rotating the the kind of orientation of the brush itself okay so have a go at that tutorial um, I'm sure you'll be pleased with the uh, the results and just take plenty of care to set those brushes up properly